boys i have not done this top 10 in a while and i felt like it definitely needed updated we've been getting some crazy crazy cards at the top end there's a lot of really good cards that are left off this list as well the pass rushers are absolutely nuts and loaded in this game but if you guys enjoy top 10s like this i do gameplays on all the brand new cards as well make sure that like and hit that sub we are on that road to 30,000 subscribers boys and i also do stream every single day on twitch at 1 p.m eastern we're opening packs over there using all the no the new cards make sure to come say what's up but other than that let's get into number 10 before we start today's video i wanted to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor muttpacks.com you can click the link down below and open exciting packs win tons of coins and withdraw your account right away you could use promo code chew for 15 percent off lastly when you sign up down below you can get a free 10,000 coin pack as well all right boys so at number 10 we have the brown zone you guys know hey the brown steam team might be coming soon boys i'm not gonna lie to you guys but my guy miles Garrett, right here at number 10 he has amazing stats he has probably some of the better stats in the game the big stats that matter the most are like the strength the block shed power move and finesse and look he has a 99 strength a 98 block shed power move and finesse but you guys know this madden you could have a bunch of 85s there this game all matters about abilities 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 and miles garrett you are kind of overspending, but he has a really good stack. You have to spend two AP to get that great stack, which is kind of expensive right now. You really want to spend like one or two because you really want zone KOs and man KOs in your DBs. You don't really want to spend too much on your D line in this game. This is a really KO heavy game, but Miles Garrett right here. Great stats. Like I said, his ability stack, it comes down to being you could use tackle supreme or you could use like that uh, double or nothing. He gets edge start elite for one AP as well. I think tackle supreme is a really, really good ability. I'm not too big of a fan of it on the D line but it is there to help stop the quad father and king henry in the game right now but solid stuff and he also does get one ap inside stuff if you want to play him at d tackle as well and use some other guys on the inside i like miles garrett but like i said his zero ap abilities aren't the best he gets under pressure which is okay but everybody uses fearless right now and then i think the other one is unpredictable as well which is meh right now so the only thing really holding him back is he doesn't have the best discounts in the world but still a very good card you're just gonna have to pay a tiny bit more your ap all right boys at number nine i did get to use dwight freeney the day he came out and this card is actually very very solid in the game like i said i think this game is really top heavy right now at the pass rusher you'll see why later you guys probably already know what i'm talking about but going on to our number nine dwight freeney very good statistically he has really good speed right there the excel is a little bit worse than miles but he does have a plus one speed there he has really good strength block shed power move finesse but the only reason i do like him more is you are saving a little bit of ap you are getting double or nothing for zero ap which is one of the better abilities in the game and then you are getting that edge start elite for one ap and then you could use uh inside stuff or secure tack uh tackler as well he gets really really good abilities the only time i'd use edge start elite we all know edge threat is countered into the ground everybody's using edge protector everybody is using secure pro but the reason why edge start elite's not bad is because it's under pressure as well so that's not a bad ability to run on your team right now because some people are using no fearless and some people are not using uh like lamar just came out lamar doesn't get fearless on his on his preferred stack if that makes sense but dwight franey very good card in the game i like him just a tiny although he's like a tiny bit worse statistically than miles i think i like his ability stack just a tiny bit better number eight we have mario williams and if you look at mario williams and dwight freeney they have the exact same ability stack that double or nothing edge start elite and like inside stuff or tackle supreme for a total of what two ap i think it is yeah it's not a bad stack you could obviously take off that inside stuff and just run a one ap ability on him which isn't bad he has 94 speed on him you are losing a little bit of excel but you are gaining some more strength and block shed which i do think help a lot in the run game i think strength is insane in the run game that like i said miles gear had 99 i got to use miles for a while and it was pretty awesome another thing i like about mario williams is he is huge he is 300 pounds as a d end and he's got good speed on him as well this is a card that this is the actually the only card on this list that i have not used yet believe it or not the only card on this list i have not used because you guys remember he was around two mil when he came out he's actually 500k right now so if you want to go back and give this card a try i think mario williams is definitely a good card number seven we do have charles haley and charles haley kind of has that similar stack i just told you that double or nothing edge start elite and secure tackler for a total of two ap or you could take off that secure tackler and just use double or nothing and edge start elite for one ap which is a very solid stack in the game right now he has 93 speed so very solid and then you look at the uh the excel the highest excel yet we've seen on this list i think excel is actually like a really big deal off the line because you're not really running too far so speed isn't the biggest deal but you are accelerating 
getting to the quarterback. There's a lot of fast guys in the game, although quarterbacks can't really escape anyways. It does help to have that excel so the guy doesn't get the pass off. You know what I mean? But looking at his other stats, strength is really good. Block, shed, power move, uh, finesse, all above 95 right there. And like I said, he gets the same ability stack as the other guys. So very good card right here. Just a little bit better, like... Like, I would say, like, in the freak stats, like, the, the natural stats, the speed, the excel. That's why I'm kind of leaning him over the other guys. At number six, I do have Micah Parsons, and he is a really weird one to kind of grade on this list because they did not do him the best justice in the world when it comes to his stats. You'll notice the speed and excel are about as good as it gets. I think he is actually the fastest pass rusher in the game. I might be mistaken on that. There might be somebody else at 96 speed, but he's up there. He's definitely up there. That is insane enough right there. That's like close to wide receivers in the game. But the 89 strength and 88 power move isn't the best. But like I said, abilities do matter. He does also get edge start elite for one AP. And then I will say one of the more, oh, he gets double or nothing for zero too, but it's in the same bucket as that zero AP pick artist. I don't know how you guys feel about pick artists on the D-line, but it has been very glitchy this year. I've tried it on like Aiden Hutchinson who got it for free. Uh, that... Lawrence Taylor, who got it earlier in the year for free, was absolutely nuts. I think it's a really game-changing. All it takes is one pick to win a game, and if your D lineman can get it, that'd be insane. But Micah Parsons, I think the only thing that would make him a little bit higher is if he got a better stack. Say if he got like Edge Shard Elite, Double or Nothing, and Pick Artist for like two AP, that would have been insane. He probably would have been like top four, top five in the game. But yeah, I mean, he's still very good. I mean, he's really good. He's just kind of you know, I, he's like one of those guys that always overperforms his stats. But this dude. He could have been better. He could have been better. All right, now getting into our top five, we do have Nick Bosa. And Nick Bosa, look at, I mean, the stats are absolutely absurd on this card. 95 speed, 96 excel. So you're matching up right there with Micah. Arguably, he's better than Micah because uh, when we're looking at that speed stat, because you're losing minus one speed, but you're also gaining plus two excel right there. He also does have above 90 strength, which is awesome. I know it's a little bit lower, but it's still good to have it above 90. And then he has 99 block shed nuts. 99 finesse right there as well and then he gets a solid stack double or nothing for zero he gets edge to leap for one and then that tackle supreme so kind of the same stack as everybody else but you know i had to include him up here i think statistically and speed wise he is about as good as it gets in the game i don't know if it even gets better than what he has right here all right boys at number four i had to put him here i had to put him here you guys know i do only prefer usually running two of the x factors but I still do think you can run it at D tackle. It's not as effective as D at D tackle as it is on the edges. That's why there's three of them in the game. You guys know there's three X factors. The the unstoppable force is the broken one in the game, and he is one of the the he's actually the originator of it, which is a really good ability. It's like the best one in the game. It's uncounterable. You guys know secure protector kind of counters everything. It counters double or nothing. It counters edge protect or edge threat elite. But the one thing that is uncounterable is this X factor. But the only reason I do have him at or is because like i said most people are using the one two guys at the edge right now with the x factors so i i don't think he's as valuable because he is kind of more of a d tackle on most people's team but if you can't afford the other guys this guy is probably one of the best cards in the game to get the fact that he is 200k and you don't have to power him up to get the x factor and all you need to run on him is the x factor is insane he's probably one of the best budget cards in the game everybody should have milkman on their team even a god squad it's like i still had him on my team i did go away from it so i could use more zone ko's but i did have him on my team and he was literally insane boys absolutely insane at D tackle for me a great card right here I don't even have to explain it you guys already know so at number three I do have Reggie White and Reggie White I do kind of feel like is one that you probably will slide to D tackle and I think Reggie White probably would be number one if we didn't have these broken x factors in the game the aka promo is kind of just taking over the game but you guys could see this card is almost like a golden ticket statistically right the speed this is the fastest I've ever seen Reggie White and the reason why I love the speed is because he is also 300 pounds like guys like Micah Parsons all these other guys are like 260 255 whatever he he is like 300 pounds, has a huge body in game. He has great speed. He has 99 strength, 99 block shot, 99 power move as well. And then he gets a solid ability stack. It could have been better. But the thing that I'm running on him right now, which I think is probably the best way to use him, is I think I'm using edge start elite double or nothing. And also I'm using, uh, what is it called? No outsiders. That is one AP. That stack right there that I just said is one AP. I do have one AP to spend. And I think that is an absolute beaut. You can use him at D tackle as well. He gets that inside stuff if you really want it on your D line. I think he probably plays D tackle on most teams because of the X factor. So very versatile card and he's big enough to play either side. And he's also fast enough to play the end if you really wanted him to. 
<laughs> All right, boys, there he is at number two, the tank. This card, an animal. You guys know I did a video on this. I did a video on it. I, uh, the title of the video was, you need these two cards on your field. And that was before number one came out, but it was tank and milkman. And I truly do feel like these guys are game changers. Like I said, secure protector counters everything. The one thing that's uncounterable is the X factors, but it does slow it down a little bit with secure protector, but it's still the only thing that consistently sheds and also works more often than double or nothing. Unpredictables, edge threats. It's the only thing that's really lighting up on the D line right now in the game. So I think it's amazing, especially if you're running like four down linemen sets, it's the best thing in the game right now. But he has also a really good card statistically too 94 speed 96 excel really good strength block shed power move and finesse and he has a solid uh, build right there too almost 270 pounds lawrence or i don't know i called him that the tank definitely one of the best cards in the game i think he's a top 10 must have card as well i'm not talking about just ends i'm talking about the whole game Right, boys at number one i do have shaq leonard aka the maniac this card insane absolutely insane you guys know he just came out and i didn't think he was gonna they gave him a run stopper and also as many of you guys know he's kind of he doesn't really rush that much in real life so i didn't think they were gonna give him unstoppable force and unstoppable force like i said the best thing in the game right now on the d-line he did get it i do think he is really small at 215 i thought it was gonna hold him back i thought the strength was gonna hold him back but man i was completely wrong i wouldn't be mad if somebody put was to put tank at one i think it's really one a one b just use both of them if you you could afford both but yeah the maniac absolutely insane 95 speed 92 sp uh excel right there amazing block shed p power and finesse i don't really got to talk about anything besides the x factor like i said if you want to put tank here at one you want to put maniac at two i don't I, you could probably put them as a tie i probably should have put them as a tie but yeah this card's absolutely insane the x factors run the game right now all right boys hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know down below what would you change on this list how do you guys feel about the x factors i absolutely hate playing them but i love having them on my team so yeah that's kind of how madden always works right but yeah they, it's they're definitely running the game right now i could even see people putting milkman above reggie white as well but i hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully we get some good uls for some good gameplays tomorrow and i'll see you guys in those peace out boys